Come on. There we are. We're live. What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hello, Badger Nation. We got a whole crew on today. Look at all of us on here. We are filling the screen up. <laughs> yes, we are. So and welcome. We lots of ladies. So um, I know. Toby, Toby and I are a little bit outgunned here. So pray for us. <laughs> I forced Sunny to be on for today. <laughs> I you thought guys it should be, be a ladies. I thought it should be a ladies show, but I was informed that I was wrong. <laughs> so as you guys see, we got up on the screen. So I love this. I saw that I'm like, guess what day is this? New parts day. <laughs> what lady doesn't want new parts for for you know Valentine's? I know I'm getting new handlebars on. Probably by the time Sunny gets done, it'll be Valentine's Day, huh, honey? Yep, I gotta have time to do this kind of stuff. For some reason I gotta work in all. So, um, let me remember that. So, yeah, here's the panel for today. Who, here's who we've got on to talk about. Um, it's not all gonna be about Valentine's because it never is, but I'll talk about a lot of motorcycle <laughs> stuff <laughs> just because that's what, what we do. But Valentine's is next. Monday, for those of you that did not know that, my guys out there and some girls, like I'm bad with dates and holidays and thank God Sunny's birthday is on the 25th and I always can remember Christmas. So there you go. I was like, okay, I couldn't remember that, but I'm bad with dates. But so we're going to talk about, yeah, what you guys want to do, um, what you're going to do, where you're going to go, what your plans are for Valentine's Day. Um, and then I'm going to throw up on the screen some some um, questions and stuff for you guys. And then I got two ladies with us that um, are that have stuff for us, biker chicks. Uh, so if you just don't know what to do um, for Valentine's Day, then we've given you guys a couple options. And these ladies are going to talk about what they have and easy stuff for you guys to like go online and get ordered and get to you guys um, in time for, for Valentine's. So... If you're coming on here, say hi, tell us where you're from, what you got going on today. And I'm going to, if we've got guys on here, I'm going to throw this out here. So guys, for the guys this time, what do you have planned for Valentine's Day? If anything, let us know in the comments. We want to, we want to hear what you guys are doing. Um, and, and I'm curious too, and I'm, this is why I got Sunny and Toby on here, because I want to know like for you guys, like what what is your ideal thing to do or get for Valentine's day for the bike? Really? You have to ask guys what their ideal thing to do on Valentine's day is. Yes. You didn't think that question out very well. Very well. Can we keep it PT 13? <laughs> right. Okay. And you're also going live, which is dangerous. <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably should have pre-screened these questions. I trust you guys. It's good thing okay. Josh isn't on. <laughs> right. He'll probably be in the comments adding to. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he's hoping for a boat. <laughs> Inside joke. Or a vintage motorcycle museum. Right. Yes. That's yes. what I'm we hoping missed, for. We missed our live um, last, last night. night. Yeah, we had open road. Oh, Bill's waving us in the background. Let's bring Bill on here. There he is. He's a little hey, Bill. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Yeah, I can't. You can't like do the comment. You can't comment when you're on the live here. Uh, oh, chat. Yeah, that's private. <laughs> <laughs> Why you want to come in here and tell us what your plans are for you and Nojo for? We get the rest of this stuff done for the new job. That's it. We're not. We're not, we're not, we're not doing anything. <laughs> Congratulations! So, thank you. Yes. Yeah, uh, she'll be. Uh, um, she does the med tech on days. I'll be doing the med tech on overnights at the same place. Oh wow! So you know that's always good for the marriage. You know, a little bit of separation there. So we'll see each other in the evening for a couple hours, and that'll be it. That'll be we Valentine's Day for those couple hours in between time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so that sucks. 
you guys are going to be working like crazy though. And then. <laughs> no, 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 listen, it, it'll be all right. It's, it, you know, to me, it's a blessing to be back in the medical field. So yeah, I've got Dave, Daniel would not get on the screen with me. This is so let's, in, let's have some introductions here. So I want to bring it over. Let's see if I can do this. There's Chrissy and there's Daniel. I've got them both on the screen. Look at that. <laughs> so Chrissy, real quick, girlfriend, um, tell us who you are and what products you have. And then later on, we'll have you go into detail about what, what you've got going on. But I just want just a quick little intro for right now. Hi, I'm Chrissy. Um, I am an independent consultant with Paint Zebra. Makes your house, your car, whatever smell amazing. And that is my business name, actually, simply amazing. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, that's perfect. me. All right, perfect. So then sh later on, she'll be telling us um, what products she has and how to be able to um, get those products. So thanks for joining us today. The next thing I want you to talk about is, um, let's remove the banner, Sunny, can you, or the comment, because um, I want everybody to did see. Did I put that up there? Okay. Um, here. <clears throat> Behind the scenes, oh, now it's covered up, shoot. <laughs> upstate biker lawyer. I know I was trying to get <laughs> upstate biker lawyer in New York. So Christy, real quick, tell us what you do for them. Oh, I do lots of stuff. We are, we have um, really taken on a big role in uh, setting up the accident scene management classes and sponsoring those. Uh, Cause we really feel like the more people trained, the more lives we can save. And that's kind of our mission you know, is to, and then we just help injured bikers. Um, we sponsor, oh, we just sponsor so much stuff that we have so much stuff going on, but the accident scene management classes are the biggest thing we're doing right now. We feel they're very important and we're getting a lot of excitement and interest in those. And we're just filling up classes. We pretty much have one scheduled for every Saturday up through May. <laughs> So that far, is, so that is awesome. Fantastic! That is fantastic. Um, kudos for you, and it's a great thing for you guys to be doing in the winter time because nobody's really riding right now. So this gives everybody an opportunity. Right, right. Which we did a few last summer, but it was it was just tough getting people in there. You know, on a Saturday when it's nice out, who wants yes. to? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, this this winter has been we've been chock full of accident scene management classes and different. We set them up for different MCs, different groups for the public, whatever. We have a lot of clubs and stuff reaching out. They want to get their whole club trained, so yeah, we're we're doing lots of that. Perfect. Well, um, I know that we have a um, a former New York um, police officer that. Um, asked us to do those courses here in this area because she lives in this area. So um, we're excited to be doing that because we're in the state of Florida and there isn't any going on around here and it's crazy. So we're, she's she's going to spirit fish that and then we're actually going to discuss that next week. That is our topic. So um, we're going to be picking everybody's brain. So if you want to join us next week, we'd love to pick your brain and um, get your help on putting one together since you obviously <laughs> have the expertise in that now. So appreciate it. All right, Thanks. yeah, definitely, I'll join you. All right, so Upstate Biker Lawyer is one of our sponsors. Um, they are the only attorney um, in the state of New York that we know, like, and trust, and that we send, you know, unfortunately people that come to us and they, they are talking about, you know, what you accidents know or whatever. Um, then, you know, they're our go-to for the state of New York, guys. So thank you, Christy. I'm going to take and move Karen in now. Let me see if I can switch Karen in the screen. There she is. Hi. Hello, Miss Karen. So a little backstory on Miss Karen. She actually um, put her listing on supportbikers.com. And my mom, Granny Ma Badger, reached out to Karen and had Karen um, make something for Baby Badger for Christmas. So she put something together. And so that made me think, I want to get her on here to talk about what she does. Because I got to see firsthand what you do. And um, so I thought that was, yeah, I was like, this is cool. Like, I want one. <laughs> tell us that Baby Badger has one. So Karen, introduce yourself. Tell us where you're at. And um, just 
briefly what it is that you do. And then, like I said, later on, we'll let you like tell us like more of what you have. Sure. Thanks. It's great to be here. Thanks for reaching out. Um, I'm Karen and I have a small handmade business called Speckled Sparrow LLC. And what I do is I salvage leather from old vintage belts and then I cut it down and embellish it and make it into some really cool leather cuff bracelets. And a lot of them have um, kind of a boho vibe. Some of them have like a hippie or steampunk vibe. But then somebody recommended that I... Um, get into some of these biker groups and oh my gosh, it's just totally taken off. So yeah, I've, I've been really blessed um, as with this community. So thank you so much. Yeah, Where, whereabouts are you located? Oh, I am in the, right now I'm in the far west suburbs of Chicago, but we are moving to Florida in about a year. No yay. way. Yeah, I know. Yay. You're gonna I cannot love it. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy's probably on here. Chrissy was just here and she wants to move to Florida, huh, girl? <laughs> so I know like Joe, Jojo and Bill, I know they want to get down here. Toby's got plans. Everybody's wanting to move here. Come on. Well, you guys are all welcome. I don't mind. <laughs> all right. The state of Florida is still open to all bikers. Everybody else? Got a lot. <laughs> but the state of Florida is open for all bikers. Yeah. All right. So... I'm throwing up on the screen. Well, comments. Anybody in the comments section, Sunny? Oh, I can't hear you. Yes, there are a few people in here. Um, of course, Daniel's in here rooting on his better half. <laughs> um, Granny Ma Badger is in here saying hey to everybody. Um, Amy is talking about bacon roses. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that is, but um, sounds yummy. Jennifer Hoffman, she's the one that said that, that she might get that for Chris. There she is. Getting bacon roses, but we don't celebrate <laughs> Valentine's Day. I mean, honestly, you, do you have to celebrate anything to get somebody bacon? I mean, that seems like a great gift any day of the week. <laughs> it would be. Right. Be I mean, how do you go wrong with bacon? <laughs> All right, so I just threw up on the screen. What are the girls planning on doing for Valentine's Day? Yeah, what are you getting us, girls? <laughs> I just got somebody some legend suspension, so I think that's going <laughs> go for the whole year. <laughs> on his on his road wing? <laughs> road king. <laughs> road wing. Road wing. <laughs> it's his gold king. It's not a boat, that's for sure. It is not. So, Chrissy, anything that you and Daniel have planned for? I don't know. Usually, that guy, I really couldn't talk about it here. <laughs> Valentine's Day, you know, it's Valentine's Day, day of love, you know. <laughs> I love it. It's true. <laughs> All right. Um, Sunny and I don't ever really celebrate holidays, do we, honey? So this is. Um, we're kind of unique in the gift world. We don't necessarily buy each other gifts. We just, if we want it, we buy it. Um, Same. I mean, we're unique in that way, I think, just because, you know, the truth of the matter is, is it would take Angie a while to figure out exactly what I want. <laughs> And then, you know, if it's a part for a bike, is she going to get the right part? I'm just better off to buy it my damn self. Um, same way with her. If she's going to go shopping and it's going to be girly and frilly, I'm probably not the one to pick that out. So, I mean, yeah, I, it just I makes sense. You want it, honey? Buy it. Right. But isn't and, it like how much you spend then she gets to spend that same amount or no? I don't. I, I couldn't tell you how much she spends. And yeah, because I think I have a lot to spend now. <laughs> Just saying, Josh. He's listening. <laughs> to get. <laughs> so part of it is, is she doesn't need to buy me anything. I just let it build up goodwill. So the day that you know I see that that Harley that's five grand and a super deal, I can be like, I want it. I got to get it. <laughs> Happy everything. That's right. <laughs> Covers me for a couple years. Yeah, I, I'm, want, I'm wanting to know, is there any hopeless romantics out? It sounds like Chrissy and Danielle probably are the, the hopeless romantics, but 
I, I, I think there's a lot of couples out there that are, yeah, like Sunny and I too, that are just like, it's just another day. And then anytime you want to go out to eat, what happens? You go to eat at I don't care or I don't know. <laughs> right? Well, then you've got, then there are the hopeless romantics out there and you can't eat anywhere because everybody, you know, reservations are booked and you're like, man. So, or at least you tell yourself that you're like, it's going to be too busy. Everybody's going to be out. We're not going to be able to find, you know, get a seat. Or, or you wait till the last minute and decide, oh, hey, let's go out to eat. And then they're, the wait's so long that you just give up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go out to eat. I cook her dinner on Valentine's Day. Hope there you go, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's. Well, I that. cook her dinner every night. What does that mean? I clean her few between. That That's what that means. Up. I clean up. Right. On Day? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. There, that's good. So, so baby, was, baby badger offered to. To buy my um, B rod for fifteen hundred dollars, I told her she spelled sixty five hundred wrong. <laughs> Find a oh, food. baby badger, They're your favorite Harley dealer. Well, that's not hard for us to do because our Harley dealer actually has a restaurant <laughs> next door. <laughs> but we eat there all the time too. So, we do. but they're 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 also a big supporter of ours. So, I mean, it's hard not to eat there. But that's, um, but Daniel's got a great idea, right? Because I mean, that's perfect for the bikers. Go find a restaurant next to the Harley dealership. You can eat, and then you can go do your shopping. So, we don't have one Harley dealership or anywhere near me that has a restaurant attached. Dang. Well, but it, there's going to be one in the step up the game. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, I can go from Canada all the way down to Erie, Pennsylvania, and nope. You got to bring your own food and um, beverage with you. Huh. There's probably McDonald's by one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no? Throw some chicken nuggets on your street glide and head home. Get a happy meal. <laughs> right. Well, Angie's got saddlebags now, so you know you can you know load up one of them with ice and you know road beers. Right. <laughs> I'm pick liking up, that. Pick up a happy meal and head home for a happy ending. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right. Well. I don't know this whole Valentine's thing. It just, yeah, I have a hard time with it. This year's our 25th and I'm thinking, anniversary? yeah, yes. I'm thinking for the first time, I actually want like you to like formally get me something for, oh, cause shit. it's silver and I like silver. So I'm like, days are counting down, Sonny. So I gotta say about my Valentine's gift. <laughs> For 25 years to go towards this. <laughs> in his defense, that's something you should have popped on him like three months ago, four months ago. Hang on. You're wanting silver and it's the 25th? I got a quarter somewhere. Aren't her bars like silver color? No, they're no, not. No, they're black. <laughs> oh, they are? Darn yes. it. Sonny, I'll send you a silver dollar. I've got, yeah, I've got something around here. I, Thank figured, you, a, I figured a quarter yeah. since it's the 25th Come anniversary. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's get let's get Chrissy back on here to show us what she's got sitting behind her. Oh, Wind Road's in the back oh, waiting on us. We got to have another girl's opinion in here. <laughs> there, oh, she there she is. is. Hey, girl. You like you guys forgot about me. <laughs> there's like a whole lineup. Like, there's like all of these. I mean, you're it. like the second row down. I mean, like, came on and almost tried to start speaking <laughs> out. Third row, third row Hi, down. <laughs> She's a <laughs> See? Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll have, um, oh, yeah, I was going to say, Windrow could talk about her products because she got some stuff from Chris. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll let, let's see. Let's see if I can't put then, some yeah. people on here now to get Chrissy nice and big. Oh, I can switch you guys around. <laughs> here we go. And there's Chrissy. All right, girl. Go ahead and, and then 
the most All right. to get to what you want. So what, what do you have for us, girls? Show us. All right. First and foremost, our biggest claim to fame, our major product that sets us apart from everybody else is our sprinkles. They are, can you see that? They're just little, little sprinkles of soy wax. And they are, all our products are earth friendly, people friendly, pet friendly. They come in two sizes. You melt these in your warmers or you can put them in little bags, whatever. They just smell, oh, they smell so good. I'm like so obsessed with these things, but they come in two sizes. This is the jar. These are $10 a piece and they last you like a month. And they come in cartons, which is like equivalent to four jars, but they are only $32. So it's almost like getting a jar for free. If you find like your favorite scent, you know, and you want to stock up, you get it in the carton. All right. Um, and then our next product is Soaks. This is our liquid fragrance and it comes with two tops, a spray one and a pour one. Um, they can be used in your car. You can spray furniture, curtains. Uh, I use it as a body spray. It's awesome. It's awesome. And then we have the little products that you can spray. They're called Just Add Soaps. We have natural reeds. They come in all kinds of different kinds. And you just pour this stuff in there. It soaks up in the reeds and it smells up everything. It's awesome. Woolies. You just spray them. You can put them in. Of course, we have like a, a ton of you know, different kinds. This probably isn't even available. The new catalog drops on the 12th and there'll be all sorts of new stuff. They've already started. These are our wall hugs. And I hope you can see it in there because I'm afraid if I take it out, I'm going to drop it. Um, and you just fill those. They have a little on off switch on the bottom that you turn on and off. So you just plug them in the wall, fill them with the soaks and you turn them on and you, it smells up like the whole, the whole downstairs, my whole downstairs can smell just from using one of these. And then we have our super clean antibacterial line of products, uh, hand soap, hand sanitizer, little mini hand sanitizer, and antibacterial spray that you can spray stuff and antibacterial it, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And we have a wide array of, I don't know if you can see them. I don't know. There's warmers. We have different warmers, um, simmer pots, simmering lights that give you a candlelight glow in your house, uh, accent shades that go over... They fit over the lights like that. And we have like a ton of different, a, a huge array of those kind of stuff. So you can, you know, mix and match and do all, all our accent shades fit over all our uh, simmering lights. So you can just kind of mix and match for the holidays or your mood or whatever. So that's a quick rundown of Pink Zebra. So what, I mean, what was the woolies again? Show me the woolies. What was that? Like that's that's a woolly. So it and just, they just it's like material. It's like fuzzy stuff, and you spray them. You can spray them with the with your soaks. You spray them, and then they they smell up the whole room. Okay. <laughs> There's we yeah we have, and then go cards. The go cards you can hang them in your car or anywhere you need it. You spray them with the soaks and the, you know, like an air freshener or something in the car or uh -huh. wherever you want them. Um, I think I sent we rode my last hang it that I had the little paw print, so she could probably show you that. But How long do they last or how long does the scent last? Um, well, it depends. Uh, the sprinkles are tested. They're tested in a, in a 12 by 12 room and they last last for over i mean a lot of them it depends on the strength of the scent but most of them are pretty strong and they they last me days you know uh danny runs his he's got he's got like a warmer in there that i got him and he just he loves them but he his he's got his going 24 7 and they last for days you know 
And so you've been I doing it for a year now, right? Did I say you saw like a year? In yeah, a yeah, I started. Yeah, I started in January last year. <laughs> what got you um, involved in doing it? What? What got you involved with Pink Zebra? Um, I was invited to an online party one time, and I was like, oh, what is that? You know, and uh, they were giving away free samples, which I do too. If you want to try it, just hit me up. All you have to do is hit me up. I'll send you out some samples because really these things, it sells themselves. It's just an awesome product. The, the sprinkles, I got some samples, and I didn't use them right away, and I'm like, oh, whatever. Man, when I used them, I used them in warmers that I had, which weren't pink zebra warmers. Um, and they, I was, I was hooked. I was completely hooked. And I figured, well, I'm going to be either going bankrupt, you know, buying this stuff, or uh, <laughs> I can sell it and get a discount, you know, because <laughs> I'm just hooked. I mean, a lot of other scents, you know, scent places, you know, different. Um, you know, waxes and stuff would give me such bad headaches and I would just get all, you know, it would just dry. And, and I, this does not, this, it, it's just bird friendly, people friendly. Like I said, I wear the soaps as a body spray sometimes because it's, they're made with essential oils and they have no alcohol or nothing like that in there. So they're, it's really an awesome product. I've, I've been hooked ever since I tried it. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'd never heard of Pink Zebra. A and lot of people haven't. It's yeah. crazy. I didn't either. They've been, they just had their 10-year uh, anniversary was last year. So they're coming up on 11 years, and I hadn't either. And once I did, I was like, this is genius. This is awesome. And I just love it. I just love it. Winroads in my, my VIP group and we have a lot of fun over there. Okay. So you've got a, a Facebook group that's for your VIPs that anybody yeah. can come and join. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah, absolutely. It's a uh, simply amazing VIPs. That's what it's called. Right. Winroads in there. We do lots of games and, I give away a lot of stuff. I love giving away stuff. <laughs> so, all right. And then I have my business page, which is simply amazing. Uh, Christine Barassi, independent consultant. And, and let me see if I can add. Christine, okay. get a hold of JoJo. She might be interested. She's in. She's uh, like, uh, what's what's that? Bed Bath and Beyond? No, not that one. What's the what's the one that sells all the fragrances and body sprays and stuff? She doesn't yeah. have Bath and Body Works. Bath, Bath and, and Body, body Works. Works. That's it. Yeah. So if, if you got a product that compares to that, yeah, it was, it, 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 private message, JoJo. Oh, yeah, I'll send her some samples. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You're not. You're absolutely. really not all that. We send out samples all the time because the samples pretty much. Once people get the samples of this stuff, they're just like, oh my gosh, what have I been using all my life? You know. Yeah, you're you're down not in the Binghamton area, right? You're being, he's asking you. Yeah, I live in Ithaca, but I, my website's the whole yeah. United States. You know, we sell it everywhere. Yeah, so you're not that far from us. No. Nice like, bike ride down once the weather breaks and the snow melts up here. <laughs> yeah, we should get together. Definitely. We're going to bike week, so I'm so excited about that. I can't wait. I'm just counting the days till we get the <laughs> heck out of here. It's too cold. I don't like it. Yeah. All right, so I have up on the screen, um, Amy's sharing her her um, computer right now. So she's got supportbikers.com up on the screen. So she's going, showing everybody how to find you and your information. So biker-owned and biker-friendly businesses can place their listings on here. So she's got up there. Now you're going under what category? You're going to have to, Amy. It's called Beauty and Spa. Okay. So when you do that and you click on the search... Then it is right there. First one, Pink Zebra, simply amazing. So if you click on that, it'll bring up her page or her pin on the map. And then you can write a review right here. And then when you scroll down, it will tell you all of her information. Her Gmail's there. Her Pink Zebra site website is there. And then she also has some pictures down here, photos. Perfect. 
So that's a way you guys can get in touch with Chrissy. And then I wanted to bring up. Um, I have a question. Uh, okay, questions. We got questions for Chrissy. Are the scents accurate to what they're supposed to smell like? What? Are the scents accurate to what they're supposed to smell like? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, I, I'm telling you right now. I have never been able to find a lilac scent. Lilacs are like my favorite. Living in New York when I was growing up, moved to Florida. Florida just doesn't have lilac. I could not find a scent. Our garden lilac is like, it's like you just, you have bushes, all, like lilac bushes all around you. Yes, it is absolutely true to send absolutely i just like i said just reach out to me i'll send you some samples of whatever scent you like we have 70 different scents and we can the fun thing about these is you can mix them to create your own personal scents that you like you know you can mix three four two whatever you can mix them up to make different scents that's that's like the big thing about our our sprinkles is not only are they you know people and pet friendly there you can mix them to create your own recipes right own so recipes. if you were to if we if so give us like three different scents that you think are like the most popular or people like the well, most right now my favorites for winter like i said the new catalog is dropping on the 12th so they've already released a lot of the scents but Garden Lilac, I don't know if they came back with I think it came back because that was a real big seller. But as far as winter goes, my favorites were Mistletoe Magic. Winter Woods was a good one. And then New Scents that they brought, I'm trying to think. They have, for spring, they have wildflowers. They have watermelon lemonade, vanilla sage, sea salt and vanilla. Uh, rainbow sherbet. We have baking scents. We have wellness scents. We have clean scents. Did you say bacon? Baking. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. We have. Um, oh, I gotta put my glasses on. We have. Um, uh, what <laughs> new car leather? <laughs> <laughs> new car leather for your cars. We have French almond croissant. We have bourbon vanilla. We have amaretto cream. We yeah. have banana nut muffin. We have like, I mean, so many different scents. We have, I think there's like six categories of scents. Of course, baking, baking in the kitchen. And, and of course, um, not edible. <laughs> no, no. Because you're making me hungry. <laughs> they probably don't taste as well as they smell being wax, but no, don't eat them. But we, yeah, we they, they make, smell. You, they make you hungry. <laughs> new motorcycle smell. That's what Sunny said. They need new to motorcycle have. Scent. <laughs> new car leather is probably going to be um, the closest smell to that. You said leather? It's new car leather. New car leather. So there you go, guys. For Valentine's Day, for your biker chick, get her some some new, yeah, new card leather. So Karen has a question. Do you ship international? It's uh, the United States. Uh, Canada has their own uh, independent consultants because it's a different place or whatever. Uh, internationally, we, we, it's just United States is where we ship to. So, so anywhere in the United States. Karen's coming to Daytona. So Karen's coming to Daytona. You'll yeah. be in Daytona. So there you guys yeah. go. There so you go. Karen, whatever you want, we'll get from Chrissy when we'll get it to you when you're here. I'll, bring, you I'll be bringing my whole sniffer sample case with me. So Okay. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, Sunny, that's, that anybody in the side chat has asked? I did not asked? see any other questions. Okay. I would like to bring Windrode on. I want to know what Windrode got from <laughs> okay. where she at. Um, I'm bringing bottom. you up on the screen here. Hi. Hey. Ooh, <laughs> you ended up. Well, tell us how you found out about Chrissy and then what made you decide. From Facebook. And there were challenges or I, I don't know. Oh, maybe from, <laughs> from Upstate Biker Lawyer. From Upstate Biker Lawyer. And then I found Chrissy there, and then she was having the games for the Christmas time, 
Uh -huh. And that's how we connected. And then she was coming down here for the holidays and we couldn't meet up because I wasn't feeling well. Sorry. Oh, you guys were sick. I couldn't see none of you. Yeah. So yeah. I'm so excited. You were literally right over there. <laughs> well, we'll be there again. My kids are right there. They live in Brooksville, so. Oh, they're my neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you moved to Frontier RV Park at the end, yeah? Yeah, we were at Mary's Fish Camp first, and then we went to Frontier. Frontier, at the end. right across the street, basically, you know, as yeah. Florida goes. <laughs> so what so, did you do with this? So I didn't get to see her. Yeah, that's true. So I was playing along with one of the games. Which one was I playing? The uh, Twelve Days of Christmas. It was family Feud. I think it was December's Family Feud. I can't oh, remember. You okay, played a lot of. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was a Family Feud where I just did a drawing, and you're like, "Are you sure I won?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> well, <don't worry. laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't know how long, because I was playing both games, and I didn't, I couldn't remember how long I had been playing both of the games, and I was like, I won? <laughs> so I received, whoa, <laughs> yikes, <laughs> the cord fell. I received the spray, the soap spray in Morning Mint, uh -huh. and I received the last, right? You, you said it was the last one? The soap? Yeah. The poor print. Uh, yeah, that's, you got my yes. last hanging that I gave away. So I figured you had a little dog. You'd like the. I know. I love this. I do. <laughs> and it yeah. smells so good. And you take the, the soap and you put it on there or you spray it on there, whichever one. <laughs> and you and then you just hang it. And wherever it is, it gets that old dog smell out. <laughs> <laughs> Even though people took a bed. So then she sent me all of these little packets to try out she asked me what my favorite um aromas were and i said lavender i love lavender i, have, I love jasmine do you have jasmine i don't have to look they're releasing more since uh this saturday i think is the last pz tv live for the new catalog and they're releasing like six or eight more scents so i'm not sure what's coming out but i'll have to see i know we have wildflowers and we have a bunch of scents that might have jasmine in there so i have to look i think i we would do the wildflower for sure and then sea salt with um vanilla that smells really good and I'm, I suffer from migraines, so I'm really smell sensitive to the mic. And if it's, you know, it's like that, it's the minute and I'm like, oh, that's no good. But with these, I didn't get that. So I have, you sent me winter woods. I think uh, Sunny, this is gonna be your best outdoor new bike smell. <laughs> <laughs> winter woods. <laughs> you get that that smell of the pine trees going by as you're riding, right? <laughs> that <laughs> <new> <laughs> smell. <laughs> Cedar and pine, right? <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. There for the for the Stevies and their Dixon collection. Oh, there's Plano Black. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have more Plano today, too. <laughs> there's something for everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. And, they're all, and they could just go right in. I already had a warmer, so I just put it right in there. That's what I like is that they've that you if you already got warmers, which a lot of us do, right? It's nice that you don't have to go buy a special warmer. You can buy these. yeah, they don't work, work in any warmer. I mean, of course, our our warmers are designed to to work better with them. But I used my warmers that I had for months before I got another one, and they work. They work. Yeah, for to put in another room, I I would need another. But I even messaged her because I wanted to make sure that the these were safe to put. I didn't know <laughs> that they were safe to put in the in the warmer. Where is it at? There they are. They're cute little things. The little pieces of wax. <laughs> there we go. I know everybody's gonna struggle to believe this, but Mama Badger's warmer is a skull. <laughs> yes. I got Danny one because no. we sold those at Halloween time. We had skulls and the skeleton hands and everything like that. I got Danny one. He's got a, a white skull in there. He loves it. Oh, 
There you I go. also had an access shade when I first, I didn't start yet. I had first discovered Pink Zebra. And when I had my first Pink Zebra party, I sold like, I don't know, almost a thousand dollars in that party. And I won this accent shade from her and it was one of the older ones. And it's like a vintage motorcycle accent shade. So I got it for Danny uh, oh, when wow. I first had my first party. Oh, that's cool. I'm hoping they come back with something like that for spring and summer. Like I said, the live, the last live for the new catalog is I think this Saturday. So I'm hoping they come out with something, something that we're not expecting. <laughs> So what price range is everything in? Oh, it all goes, I mean, it, it goes from cheaper to more expensive, like everything else. Um, I'm trying to think. The basic simmering lights are like the candlelight glow one and the white one and the solid color ones. They're at uh, $30, I think, 28 or $30. And um, I mean, they just go up. We have simmer pots for $28. Um, and the cool thing about these is because I know a lot of the other said things that I used to buy are warmers. I don't know if I got a face in these, but our warmers. Let me see if I can pull this over here without breaking anything. All right. This is a warmer that was for Christmas. Oh, that's cute. But the little dish sits right in there, and then you fill, you put your sprinkles in there, but then when you're done, when it doesn't smell anymore, you take this right out, you put it in the freezer, and about 10 minutes later, the stuff pops right out. You don't have to scrape it out. You don't have to do nothing crazy. It just pops right out. Very simple. Very Great simple. I um a question. Oh, yes, Windrow, yes. Windrow. <laughs> Christy, what would you recommend for an RV outside of the hangar? Oh, well, we have the, we have natural reeds. They come in all sorts of different, this is just one. Um, they come in like so many different kinds. They just don't, I don't know what they're going to be bringing out in the new catalog. So I didn't want to like show a bunch of old stuff and people go, hey, I want that. I'm like, oh, I can't. <laughs> You know, I don't want to do that. We have those, and like I said, the woolies, and we just have some new ones coming out for spring summer. It's like a, it's a PJ the pelican and a Wally the whale just came out on the last PZ TV live. So they're the same thing, but of course a whale and a pelican, different colors. Of course, beachy. Um, those are good. The hang its, the go cards. Natural reeds, the wall hugs, um, they, you know, not probably while you're driving because <laughs> it's my tip, but I am going to take it out of here. Too. All right. That's a wall hug and it plugs right in to the wall. It has a little on and off switch on the bottom. You just turn it on and off when you want it. And a lot of times when you, when you turn your warmer off or you turn your wall hug off or you turn whatever off, It'll keep smelling for like hours and hours and hours. So, I mean, you can really save stuff. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to have it warming all the time. It, it, right. it, it can go four hours or more after you shut it off. It's still, you still walk in and you're like, wow, it's, it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought about, cause you had the big container and I was like, oh, you're in a big container. But then I was like, you know what? I probably want to get a bunch of little, littler containers to see. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like you it's said, then big little containers are like when you have a faith, you know, you find a scent, you're like, oh, I just can't live without that scent. Yeah. And this is how you stock up because the jars are $10 a piece plus tax and whatever. And mm -hmm. the cartons are 32 but the cartons are equivalent to four jars. So it's mm -hmm. almost like you're getting a jar for free. So that'd yeah. be the way to stock up. We stock up on people. Yeah. yeah. It's a good way to go and when you don't, like now, you said. Before I, before I forget, we also have our air care products that come in sprinkles and soaks. There's like four different kinds. I think there's Thai lemon air care, regular air care, uh, lavender air care, and one they just came out with, I think. Um, and they, our air care products come in soaks and sprinkles and they neutralize odors. So if you have, you know, like a garage or a bait, you know, something, it will actually neutralize the odors 
So it's it's a little strong. It's a lot stronger than the other ones, but mm. those are hair care products. We have a honey badger that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I was gone for two days at the beach, and I came back, and I was I walked in the house, and I was like, "Oh, it smells like dog." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it neutralizes smoke. It neutralizes all those those yucky smells that are in the air. Wherever. Right, well, thank you so much, sweetie. I appreciate it. I'm gonna um you guys saw what we've got on there. You can hit you can hit, once this is done, you can hit that rewind button or fast forward button and get to where you can find all of Chrissy's information. It's on supportbikers.com. Reach out to her. This is one idea for you guys for to get something for that that biker chick. And then we're gonna bring on Miss Karen next and she's gonna talk about what she has. Hey guys. All right. All right. Just go ahead and launch into it. Yep. Go for okay. it. Okay. I um I brought a couple of examples out here of what um some of the you bikers have been really liking some of these styles. So again, I make them with um recycled leather belts. So some of them still have yeah. the like buckle holes intact on them. And I put two snaps on every one. These are all hand set. So is all the little embellishments you see on there. We hand cut the belts. There's nothing here is um, machined or automated. My husband and I do it all by hand. So, um, and so every single piece is completely unique, one of a kind. I might have, um, you know, this style of heart on a bunch of them, but they're all going to be different because of the strap that they're on so uh -huh. there's one that's been really popular um i, have I this, love that thanks uh -huh. i have this wing style that's po pretty popular um this one also has buckle holes intact um i make most of these to fit a seven inch wrist um and then they have the two snaps on them for adjustability but i'm happy to custom cut one if you need it bigger or smaller and there's no extra charge for that so just reach out to me okay um then i have this cool sparkly yes. sorry i'm kind of thrown off with my camera there that one is a rhinestone skull and crossbones that was pretty cool and i like oh, the yeah. distressing on this um, strap is pretty cool. Yes. Too. That one has Mama Badger written. Oh, all yeah. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <so funny. laughs> I have quite a few. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. I was going to sit here and say, those look like new belts to me. They look new? Some of them are newer. Some of the, I don't get them all from thrift shops, so I don't buy new belts. Mm. So, you know, there's varying degrees of um, wear on them, but you should expect to have some distressing. And personally, I love that. I The Me more too. wear it has, I think it has mm -hmm. more character, but that's yeah. just me. Then I have this little motorcycle. Ooh, oh, I like that. Which is I, fun. Yeah. Guys. See me? This is, this is my belt. <laughs> She's not the wear and tear. Yeah, <laughs> if, you're, if you want something a little more blingy, I have that super sparkly heart, and I have this kind of turquoise sparkly heart. This one has some cool distressing on it too. Sorry, you guys, I'm so thrown off by the. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> opposite. You're doing good. Okay, I love them all. I want them yeah. all. Hey, <laughs> there's something that's a little more subdued, and then this one here that I'm wearing. Um, this is my dad's old nice. belt. So I can take, if you have a belt from a loved one that you want me to make a oh, um, wow. memory piece out of, I'd, I'd love to do that. It's a super joy and honor for me to do that. There um, you go, Bill. Your big, your world record poker run belt. for You can give it to her for JoJo. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do that. And then Celtic knots. These Celtic knot and Celtic cross styles are popular with the guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot get a handle on the camera. Sorry. And then this one is in progress. I cannot keep these in stock. You guys love these with the Maltese cross. See, it's still in progress. So with Ooh. this like sparkly Maltese cross, Hi. I have a bunch of those on my workbench right now. And then one last thing that I want to show you guys is I work with a, um, a leather artisan out in, um, out in Colorado. And he oh, wow. takes these straps. Oh, and that one right there. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so these are a little bit more expensive. He hand stamps 
the, that design in there and oh, then wow. hand dyes them for oh, me. So here's a, bee, Roger. <laughs> here's a bee one. So the ones that, sorry, God, the ones I originally showed you here with the recycled belts, those are going to run like anywhere between 36 and probably $53. And anything over $35 ships for free in the U.S. But these are going to run in the 90 kind of range. 90-ish, 95 kind of range. Those are gorgeous. Those are, like, Art, that's a piece that's, of artwork. Yeah, And like there's so much work that goes into that. Yeah. He stamps those all by hand, dyes everyone individually. So these are not recycled belts, but they are rescued straps, scraps that he was just going to, he was just going to dump them. <laughs> and I was like, Karen, I have a question. Have how, how long does it take you to make one of yours? Oh, you know, it's hard to say how much time it takes to make one because now my process is I lay a whole bunch of straps out and a whole bunch of little embellishments and kind of piece them together at once. But, and you also have to consider the amount of time it takes me to go out and hunt down a good leather belt. That mm, takes right. a long time to find good leather belts. But mm -hmm. um, I would say all in all, like putting one together, maybe an hour to 90 minutes from kind of designing it to getting everything together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, it's really a much longer process than that. Right. But the actual, you know, logistics. Yeah, but we I have, love doing this. I have a job that's like super straight laced, really high pressure. And so this is a great, it's an awesome creative stress release. For me. Yeah, yeah. We do have a question. Sure. Um, oh, Daniel I, wants to know if you make, if you can make a dog collar. I get so many requests for dog collars and I just, I don't do them. I, the bracelets are totally my jam. I've, um, I've done it before and. Um, I just get super nervous about, um, you know, the kind of closures that I use. I always worry that there would be some liability if something happened to the dog, if the, it got caught and didn't unsnap. Or So I just kind of stay yeah. away from dog collars, but I get okay. so many requests. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Fantastic. Any other questions from anybody um, out there? Beautiful. They're beautiful. You. Your bracelets are beautiful. Thank you yeah. so much. That means a lot. Yeah. I just want to point out, I mean, because my background, I mean, I did craft stuff and I created things for people. So I know how it, it takes time <laughs> yeah. to do these things. And, um, and, you know, so you gotta keep that in mind when you go to buy something, you're buying something that is unique, one of a kind, and has a lot of love in it and yeah, time and sweat and tears and sometimes. And well, I mean, just, I'm, yeah. I'm going to elaborate on that exactly. So, guys, this isn't made in some factory in, in some other place, uh, some other location. I mean, these are all, you know, they go out and they shop for the belts. Um, they put them together. I mean, these are handmade, um, of course, here in the United States um, by it sounds like a husband and wife team. Yeah. Um, you know, that has a value within itself. And when somebody says, Hey, that's a really cool bracelet. And you can be like, yeah, I bought it from, you know, X, Y, Z. They're a husband and wife team. They made it for me. I mean, that's just, I like stories, right? That's why I like older bikes because older bikes usually have some kind mm -hmm. of story to them. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. So I love this too, because you can be like, you know, they actually go out and they shop for the leather belts and yeah. then they put them together. And how cool is that? So, yeah. um, you know, Thanks. keep that You're in mind. My kind of people. What people can get it. <laughs> yeah. They're my kind of people. I love it. Well, some people don't realize how much, how much blood and guts go into the design mm -hmm. of it too. Cause mm -hmm. I used to make hand make, um, watch bands when people actually wore watches that weren't yep. iPhone or, you know, I watch it or whatever, but, uh, but I know how, how much time puts it, you go to put into making it, designing it. And putting it together for that specific customer, especially if it's a special order, too. So mm -hmm. kudos to you because they're gorgeous. I love them. Thank you so much. Thanks. Vicky asks, do you have any angel wings with roses? Mm, hold on. <laughs> now that's custom. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, uh, I, I have dude, check this, this out. style of a rose. 
oops, a little bit upside down. I have that style of a rose and I can put, I have wings that I can add so I can custom make something for you. You can reach out to me and I'm happy to do customs. So yeah, I'd love uh, to do that. So Amy, will you throw up the link to her listing? I will, but I can show you where it is. Okay, so perfect. if you go to supportbikers.com and you click on, I think I had hers down in jewelry. Jewelry. You can also clothing, accessories, and jewelry. And then you search. Oh or you can go in the search bar and search speckled pharaoh as well, and that'll take you to directly to hers. And here it is right here. And I'll go ahead and post a, or comment with a link too. But here is her business. And you can write a review here because we like that, guys. Um, and then here is all of her information here, her website um, and her store. Perfect. And I do have a Facebook group as well, like Chrissy. Um, I put it in the comments. I'm not sure how you can get to it there, Amy, but um, yeah. And we're actually, this is, we just had our three year anniversary in business. So if you join the Facebook group, I'm going to oh, be having a giveaway. Right so um, I'd love for you to join. We do other fun stuff too. So yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Yay. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, ladies, for coming on here. I mean, that's that idea is, you know, for us to all be supporting biker owned and biker friendly businesses. That's why we have supportbikers.com. That's why we have our Facebook page and groups. And um, we, I guess we, I can announce too, we actually just started an actual Facebook page called Support Bikers. So if you guys on Facebook, if you'll go to the Support Bikers page, and we've just started it, so we don't have any likes and follows. So right now it's like a big push if you guys can go and hit that like and follow button on our page and share it for us um, so we can build that page up. And that's going to be us, you know, sharing these things, you know, the biker and biker friendly businesses and events that are going on and um, you know, how we're supporting one another. Um, so if you, you know, moto vloggers, um, charities and organizations and, you know, just all that stuff, um, will be on that page. All the things that we can't squeeze on the badgers and the biker lifestyle page. <laughs> we now have support bikers page, um, to put that stuff on. So there'll be different content, different things that are going on that we're sharing. And then in our support bikers group, everybody, that is a group. I mean, Karen came in there and, you know, we encouraged her to, you know, keep posting her stuff in there so that people get to see it. And that was the cool part because I was seeing her post something and then I was seeing the reaction that she was getting and people were commenting, Hey, I want this. Do you do that? Do you do this? And so I know she's been getting a ton of um, inquiries and um, probably some business from it too, I assume for, for have you know, putting those postings. So that's, that's what it's for. I mean, it's, um, you know, support bikers isn't just all bikers. It's all people that support bikers as well. And so we encourage you guys to be on there um, posting away, which you guys are. And it's awesome. The engagement is, it's fantastic. We'd love seeing it. Hey, Angie. Yes, I, I tried to locate support bikers page and I can't find it. So can one of you find it and post it? Yep. Just go to share Facebook. It. I was going to share it, but I couldn't find it. Yep. Facebook.com forward slash support bikers. So I just put it in the Thank you. comments now. Yep. That's why we need, we need help because the more we build that page up, then it becomes more noticeable and comes up on when people are doing searches. So, all right. Was there anything else that you guys wanted to talk about? for Valentine's. I know open road radio is going to be, um, she's going to be on the radio and on her page on Saturday. And I think she's going to have some stuff that's uh, Valentine's related. So you guys can tune into to that. We won't air that on our page until next Monday. We just switched. We were doing open road radio. We were, sh we were doing it live at the same time she was doing it on Saturdays. But that was a lot of a lot of work and just wasn't working out for our schedule. So now we've moved it to Monday nights at 8 p.m. Um, so you guys are welcome to come join us there, be in the chat. 
Um, anything, anything, anybody else knows about or would like to share when it comes to Valentine's and um, places to go, rides to take, gifts to give, anything like that? Nope. Will Toby does a shake in her head. Okay. All right. Well, it's right at one o'clock, as you guys heard. So I think we'll end this live segment for today. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate it. If you guys come on here, <laughs> we're going to take this video. It's going to get shared again. So, um, and it's got to have its own URL. So you guys can take that URL, copy it and paste it wherever you want to paste it all over Facebook. So if you want other people to see it, you guys can do that and um, have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. We'll be here next Tuesday at 12 o'clock again. So uh, motorcycle, um, what is the, where the courses we're going to do the accident, scene accident management, management yep. um, courses. That's yep. going to be our talk for next Tuesday. So if you're interested in that, if you want to start one, get involved in one, um, then that's what that's, that um, live is going to be all about. All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys. guys. See you in Daytona. <laughs> yes. We'll see Chrissy in Daytona.